In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a species area curve for, for using Google Sheets. And it should look something like these ones over here. Uh, so the first thing to do would, is to get your data and make a copy of it. So the easiest way to do that is go to File, Make a Copy, and then it'll save into your drive. And then now that we have a data sheet, make sure you're on the right tab at the bottom. Most of the data for 2022 is found in the first 30 tab. And then from here we can make our columns. The first thing to do to simplify everything is to change all of these names to just numbers 1 through, through 35. So we can delete them all and starting at 1 in the first cell make a 1, the second cell make a 2, and then if you highlight it, highlight those first two cells and then click on this with the crosshairs, click on the little box, then you can drag it all the way down and Excel or Sheets will recognize the pattern and count everything for you. And then now all of those names became numbers and that will be our X axis. And then we need to highlight the first time that every species showed up. And the easiest way that I've found to do this is to just start at the first cell of each species going down or in each row. Start the first cell and then every or when it first shows up, I'll highlight that cell and make it a certain color. And then I go down to the next one. And when the first time it shows up, I'll highlight it. And then just keep going down using the arrow keys. And you just keep doing that. And if it never shows up, then uh, you don't need to worry about it. And so I've already done all of that on this graph. And what you do from there is you'll count going down how many time or how many new species showed up in that group. So this one we had we had four. One, two, three, four. And you write four in the new species box. This one only had two new species, and this one had five. And then if it's zero, just leave it at zero. So then to get that, this cumulative new species, how many new numbers or how many new species total there was, you can use a sum function, which will just add up whatever numbers you put in. So the first box in the first row, you'll just put the first number of how many new species the group found. And then the next one, you do equals sum, and then you can hit tab, and that'll automatically put the parentheses. Uh, and then you'll click on your first cell uh, in your cumulative species, hit comma, and then the cell above it in the new species. So it'll get the sum total of this cell right here, the yellow one, and then also the cell above it, or diagonal to above the purple one. And then if you hit enter, it'll add them together. And then uh, you can drag this going all the way down and it will provide you with the cumulative species for that um, 
for all of the data going to, all the way down. So just drag it and then um, and it will copy the sum function going all the way down. If you look up in this formula bar up here, it changes every time you go down. And then that is uh, uh, your table. That's where you're going to draw your data from. So from there, we can make our first graph our first line. So you'll just starting at this zero column, this will become your uh, your name for the side, or actually the name of the line. So just start here, and then drag down all the way, highlight your numbers, and then go to insert, chart, and then choose your chart. And for a species area curve, we want to make a scatter chart. Um, and we will label it as, or make our x-axis, like I said earlier, these numbers 1 through 34. And that will tell us how many uh, samples we've taken. Just hit OK, and then our numbers show up here at the bottom. Um, from there, you this is where you start to adjust things and customize your chart to make it look like how you want it. So we'll start by giving it a title. We'll call it Species area curve twenty twenty two and then we from here this drop down menu is how you also change the horizontal axis title which we'll call number of samples and the vertical axis title which we'll call cumu Relative species. And then a series really just means the line. So here's where you edit what your line looks like. You can edit the color and thickness. Uh, we'll make it orange. And this trend line, this is what makes that curve. So you go to trend line, click on that, and it'll show a linear line. Go to type and make it logarithmic, and that makes the curve that we're looking for. It also showed in one of the instructions to show the R squared value, and that automatically puts this legend in. But we'll go and adjust the legend right now. So here, um, Here's the label for the legend, or for the line, uh, the name of the line. And this value, or the cumulative winter species 2022, came from this in the zero spot. So that's why I mentioned to do that. From there, edit chart, customize horizontal axis. Uh, I like to, this did it automatically because I started at the zero value, but if I make it the maximum value at 35, the minimum value at zero, then it puts in a good, um, a good spacing between the chart or between all the lines. And same thing here, it only went up to 18 values, so for 18, so I'll go 20 and 0. And grid lines and ticks, this is what I meant to talk about. 
you can make little ticks in between the lines and show lines and stuff like that or and just mess around with whatever you want your graph to look like and you can also make this legend you can decide where it comes up up here i prefer to have it at the bottom and the last thing is adding more lines to the same graph so here's the data from 2019 i'll show you how to make that sum function one more time uh, you put the first value in for the first group and then we'll go equals sum tab click on uh, the first the first box in the cumulative species row comma and then the box above it and diagonal and to the right and then hit enter and drag that all the way down and then when you're copying values from excel if you want them to show up in separate um, in separate columns like this you have to you can copy it normal control v and but when you go back actually i forgot to copy those values from uh control c not control v and then you'll start on the first box make sure you get the name of it start in the first box and you have to do control shift v because if you just yeah it's just a safe to be safe it's good to do control shift v so that they show up in all the different boxes going down um, and then to add that data Oh, notice when you copy it though it only copies the value it doesn't copy the function that even though up here it was a function but it still works to add data so we'll highlight the data that we want to use or actually we'll edit the chart go to custom Customize series, no, setup, add series, and these will let you select a data range. So that's what you use to select the x axis. And here we'll select a new line. And we'll drag our data down or drag the line over the data we want to show up, just that row. Hit OK. And then it'll show up and 2018 actually went higher so I need to make the vertical axis maximum a little higher so that it shows up and then to edit this series and give it a line we go again to series and um, you can have things apply to all of them. So once you put all your data in, you could just make a trend line and then make it linear or logarithmic for all of them. Or you can do them individually like this. Change the color. Trend line. And something is weird about that data, but that's OK. It should come down from the bottom but that is essentially how you make a a species area curve um, yes so thanks for watching hopefully this all makes sense